NASA making a historic announcement today that the Voyager probe has entered interstellar space, that place between the stars. It's now out beyond the sun's helios. For decades, Voyager 1 has been sailing through the cold darkness beyond the planets, transmitting whispers from the outer reaches of our solar system. Launched in 1977, it has long outlived its original mission and has since ventured into the unknown realm of interstellar space. And now, after nearly half a century of quiet resilience, Voyager 1 has made a discovery that has shocked scientists around the globe. An observation that seems to defy the laws of known physics and the expectations set by decades of astrophysical theory. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The spacecraft, drifting over 15 billion miles away from Earth, recently detected a phenomenon that was, by all accounts, considered impossible. Instruments on board picked up a series of low-frequency plasma waves unlike any that have ever been observed before. But it wasn't just the type of waves that startled mission scientists. It was their source. These waves were emerging from an apparent void, an interstellar cavity where, theoretically, there shouldn't have been enough matter or energy to produce them. This area, just beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends, was expected to be quiet, cold, and largely uneventful. Instead, Voyager 1 uncovered an orchestra of activity playing in what should have been absolute silence. What made this discovery so staggering wasn't merely the presence of plasma waves, but the characteristics they displayed. The waves had a distinct rhythmic modulation, an organized structure almost akin to a signal, albeit not one that conforms to any known natural or artificial source. While cosmic phenomena like pulsars, quasars, and black hole accretion disks can emit electromagnetic radiation in patterns, the consistency and symmetry of these new waves implied an origin not yet understood. The area in which Voyager detected them lacks the strong magnetic fields or dense material clouds usually necessary to generate such sustained plasma vibrations. For scientists, this meant one unsettling thing. Something fundamental about our understanding of interstellar space was incomplete or possibly incorrect. Complicating the mystery even further was the response of Voyager's magnetometer, an instrument designed to measure magnetic fields. At the time of the plasma wave detection, the magnetometer picked up anomalous fluctuations in the magnetic field surrounding the spacecraft. But these changes didn't correlate with any known solar activity or galactic magnetic interference. The changes seemed localized, as though something in the nearby interstellar medium itself was warping the magnetic environment in a controlled or deliberate manner. The idea of control in such a remote and empty region sent a wave of discomfort through the scientific community. Voyager 1's instruments are old, yet remarkably reliable. They operate with the kind of endurance and precision that has become legendary in space exploration. But with this event, those instruments were pushed to their limits, capturing data that forced mission analysts to reevaluate long-standing models of the interstellar environment. The theory of interstellar space as a cold, passive void was suddenly in question. Instead, it began to appear that this vast region between the stars might be more dynamic more active, and potentially more structured than anyone had dared to assume. One of the first implications to emerge from this discovery was the possibility of unknown forms of matter or energy permeating interstellar space. Standard cosmology accounts for ordinary matter, dark matter, and dark energy, but none of these frameworks adequately explain the organized plasma waves Voyager detected. This led some to speculate whether Voyager 1 had stumbled upon a type of energy transmission or interaction that simply hasn't been theorized yet. Perhaps a form of interstellar turbulence fueled by exotic particles or interactions beyond the standard model of particle physics. The notion of turbulence in interstellar space was not new, but the kind detected here was different. Turbulence usually requires motion, density, and thermal contrast. In this case, the environment lacked those elements and yet the waves pulsed consistently, their origin neither solar nor cosmic. It was as though space itself was alive with motion invisible to every previous attempt to chart it. Voyager, by chance or design, happened to pass through just the right coordinates to detect it. More provocative implications arose as some theorists proposed that this discovery might hint at the presence of organized interstellar structures vast filament-like constructs of plasma or magnetic fields stretching across unimaginable distances. These structures, if real, might act as conduits for energy, guiding it across the galaxy like invisible arteries of power. 
The existence of such formations would fundamentally change humanity's understanding of galactic architecture. Instead of being a loose scatter of stars floating in isolation, the galaxy might be bound together by invisible networks of force and motion, networks that, until now, have been undetectable. As Voyager moved forward, even more anomalies began to surface. The cosmic ray sensor on board recorded sudden sharp increases in particle activity at intervals corresponding exactly with the plasma wave patterns. These were not random bursts but appeared synchronized, raising even more questions. Cosmic rays, high energy particles that travel close to the speed of light, are generally chaotic. Their sudden patterning in this region was unnatural, and the coincidence of this with both the magnetic and plasma disturbances created a trifecta of inexplicable phenomena. What disturbed analysts most was not just the presence of these effects, but their timing and correlation. The synchronized burst hinted at a clockwork hidden within the very emptiness of space. Time and energy, seemingly decoupled from gravity or thermal gradients, were operating in unison. If space had rhythm, Voyager 1 had just heard it. Given the limited capacity for data transmission due to the spacecraft's distance and aging systems, retrieving this information was an excruciatingly slow process. Each packet of data had to be parsed and confirmed, its authenticity verified against both system degradation and cosmic noise. But the data's consistency across different instruments suggested a real, persistent phenomenon, not mere interference or mechanical error. Each reading pointed to the same unsettling conclusion. Interstellar space is not as empty, not as dead, as once believed. For decades, scientists believed they had a comprehensive understanding of how energy behaves in the vacuum between stars. The influence of gravity wanes, electromagnetic fields diminish, particles become rare, and space cools to just a few degrees above absolute zero. But Voyager 1's impossible discovery challenges every layer of that assumption. There is energy out there, organized and potent, humming in frequencies and patterns that our models never predicted. The implications for astrophysics are staggering. If these plasma waves are indicative of larger structures or processes, then the scope of what constitutes interstellar matter and energy must be expanded. Concepts like vacuum energy and zero-point fields that once belonged to fringe theoretical physics might have to be reconsidered in a new light. What if these seemingly quiet regions are not passive, but are instead an active part of the galaxy's energy balance? What if the space between stars is a laboratory of constant hidden interactions? Such a possibility would alter not just theoretical models, but also future exploration goals. Missions to other stars or distant galaxies might now include plans to probe these regions more thoroughly, not just as transit zones, but as destinations in their own right. They might contain the clues to understanding the formation of galaxies, the behavior of dark matter, or even new physics that could unlock advanced propulsion or energy systems. In the end, Voyager's lone passage through this mysterious zone might spark a new age of space exploration focused on what lies between rather than what lies beyond. And there's a deeper, almost philosophical layer to this discovery. For all of humanity's existence, we've looked up at the night sky assuming that between the stars there was only emptiness, a yawning chasm of silence. Voyager 1 has revealed that silence may be an illusion. The void may hum with a hidden pulse, a complexity we are only beginning to hear. Perhaps that hum has always been there, drowned out by the noise of our own nearby sun. And now, with Voyager finally far enough away, we are hearing space for what it truly is, for the first time. If interstellar space is dynamic and energetic in ways we never anticipated, then our assumptions about communication across cosmic distances must change. Natural signals might travel farther or faster through these mysterious plasma structures. If such a medium exists, then it might act as a carrier for information, a channel through which energy or even complex patterns can traverse the stars without degradation. That opens the door not just to understanding the galaxy differently, but to the potential for entirely new modes of interstellar contact, technology, and understanding. And yet, the most tantalizing aspect of Voyager 1's impossible discovery lies in its sheer mystery. The spacecraft did not solve anything. It opened a thousand new questions. Each bit of data seems to suggest something remarkable, but the complete picture remains just out of reach. Like an ancient artifact pulled from a ruin with symbols no one can decipher, the patterns Voyager detected resist classification. They are real, measurable, and yet wholly untranslatable, at least for now. The universe has always spoken in the language of mathematics and physics, but this discovery suggests it may have dialects we have not yet learned to recognize. The symmetry, the modulation, 
the interlinking of wave, field, and particle. They hint at rules not written in our textbooks. Voyager 1, drifting silently through the stars, may have encountered one of the galaxy's hidden grammars. No matter how the mystery unfolds in the years ahead, one thing is clear. Voyager 1 has delivered something truly monumental. It wasn't a photograph or a dramatic image of an alien world. It was a set of vibrations, of energies moving in ways no one predicted, from a place no one expected to be alive with meaning. It was a signal of sorts, not from an alien civilization, but perhaps from the galaxy itself. A reminder that the void is not silent, that space is not empty, that the universe, in its deepest and coldest reaches, still has secrets left to share. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1's impossible discovery after years in space? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.